Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to discuss a scenario, and scenario is some of the external vendors cannot connect to SQL Server in intranet. What could be the issue? Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you what the best practice is. I would never ever expose my intranet SQL Server to external vendors. What do you need to do in uh, following the best practice? You need to have application on extranet. Um, we, most of the companies have two um, uh, networks. One is internal network, which is intranet, and one is external, uh, that's open to the public, and that is extranet. So uh, vendors should connect to extranet. All the application that you have in uh, internally, um, a, a version of that application should reside externally, and vendors should come through the. Um, applications not directly uh, come into the SQL Server. Uh, all the, the queries uh, should come via application. That's that's the best scenario. But let's say that uh, in some companies you have a direct access on inter internal SQL Server to external vendors and for some reason they can't connect. Uh, most likely the case would be that your firewall uh, that is blocking uh, your um, uh, connections, external vendors connection is blocking uh, um, that to uh, and preventing it to connect to SQL Server. So in this case you need to talk to your uh, uh, network guys and uh, make sure that they can um, uh, monitor the traffic of firewall and see that uh, uh, the port uh, the ports are being blocked. Which port is being blocked? It's uh, 443 uh, or um, uh, some other ports that you configured for SQL Server and, and, and it's not open in firewall. If that's the case, then external vendors are not going to connect to SQL Server. You have to open that port. I hope it helps.